eyes over India now because of the huge growth we've seen in low-cost airline travel. Is overcapacity now a real concern in that market? Uh, in the short run, it is a, a little bit of a concern, but uh, longer term, uh, you know, we are 1.3 billion people uh, in the country. Only less than 3% of them actually fly today. The market is growing at 20% a year, so clearly there's a lot of capacity needed. We have all of 450 planes uh, in the country. Uh, the growth rate is about 20%. That would call for 90 planes to be added uh, every year. We are yes. no, not even close to adding 90 planes every year. So, so I, I would think that uh, the demand is very much there. The planes are very much required. Of course, there are certain challenges like infrastructure and others, uh, which we have to deal with. Uh, but uh, medium to long term, there's going to be tremendous growth. And is there going to be the infrastructure there to facilitate that growth? Because even if the demand is there, your plane orders, the plane orders of Indigo, suggest that India is going to need to build more runways, more airports to, to accommodate this kind of growth. Absolutely. And, and uh, I think it's a huge challenge in the main metros like Delhi and Mumbai, which are already slot constrained and space constrained. Uh, but, uh, you know, there are 400 airports in India, of which we use only 75 airports commercially at this time. Uh, the government of India launched a scheme called the Regional Connectivity Scheme last year, which sought to connect the other 300 airports and sought, them, sought to get them into the pool of airports that could potentially be used. Uh, already in the first year, 35 of those airports have started to be used. Uh, and uh, going forward, we think that there's great potential in using uh, the other unutilized airports.